Good morning guys, this is Mr. Berry, your physics teacher. I have created this video to motivate you to complete your trimester one essay, whose topic is Mr. Berry break the law. As I explained in the classroom, I want you I want to see five five paragraphs in your essay. Paragraph one uh, in the introduction, I want to see four things, at least four things. You define you begin your essay defining what motion is and then historical aspect. Um, just as uh, the study of motion started some 2500 years ago when Aristotle hypothesized that the object in motion is tough because it gets tired. Then the story, story of Sir Isaac Newton. And then I, wanna, I want you to uh, develop hypothesis like, no, Mr. Barry did not break the law. He is completely innocent. Now, body Two, I want you to use mechanics. Mechanics, as I explained in the classroom, has two parts, kinematics and dynamics. You're going to first use kinematics to, uh, to, to, to describe the, the motion of Mr. Uh, Barry's bike, and then you're going to use dynamics to, uh, uh, to, to explain, um, explain uh, the motion of Mr. Barry's bike. Since I did not, we did not finish dynamics yet, that's why I, I created this video. In this video, I'm going to I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain the dynamics, and then in body, and in then in body three, I want you to use Aristotelian physics and algebra to support the hypothesis. In body four, I want you to use calculus and Newtonian physics, especially mechanics, to support the hypothesis. Finally, in conclusion, I want you to use uh, the result of body two, result of body three, result of body four to support or reject the hypothesis. So let's get it started. Um, you know. Um, uh, have you ever wondered uh, why it's um, is so difficult in the beginning to um, uh, to to start moving? Uh, it's difficult because Mr. Berry had to overcome the inertia, and and that's Newton's first law. Then Newton's first law is saying object in motion like to stay in motion, and object at rest like to stay at rest. So Mr. Berry's bike in the beginning like to stay at rest. And uh, Mr. Barry had to overcome that inertia by uh, by by applying uh, applying something. So that takes us uh, that that's that's what we call law of inertia. So now uh, the law of inertia uh, kind of help us understand that that's why it is in the beginning it is very difficult to make something moving. Make something moving is difficult because you have to overcome the inertia. But once you overcome the inertia is it's pretty simple to make it moving. Now, what makes it moving? That takes us to Newton's second law, force. This is force equal mass times acceleration. Now, what gives Mr. Barry's bike force? Mr. Barry uh, by, gives a force when Mr. Barry started um, start paddling. It comes from paddling. Now, if his bike was, imagine his bike was heavy, massive, then he couldn't uh, he couldn't move it because the mass is is, is difficult to move a massive object. But fortunately, Mr. Barry's bike wasn't that that heavy. So now the 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 the, the, uh, the other question the other question is why Mr. Barry's bike was moving forward. There's also Newton's third law helps us understand that the Mr. Barry was moving forward because. Uh, the wheel move backward and the ground ground uh, pushing the wheel forward, which, which can be explained by Newton's third law that uh, every action there is equal and opposite reaction. So what is action? Wheel, wheel moving uh, moving back uh, moving backward. And what is the reaction? The 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 the, the ground the earth pushes push the the wheel forward, and that's makes Mr. Barry's bicycle moving. Now the main question is, was he moving too fast at uh, when he was approaching 20 miles? Now Newton calculus kind of help us, uh, help us solve that problem, especially in instantaneous velocity. When you take the first derivative, um, that would be the, our position function is 40 over 3t squared. If you take the first derivative, that would be velocity. If you put, in this case, 1 hour 22 minutes. So if you do that, that will tell us whether Mr. Barry broke the law or not. So good luck with your asset project. I'll see you Monday.